Why is a well-functioning public administration important? A professional and efficient public administration is necessary for ensuring that a government can deliver on its promises and provide crucial services to its citizens and residents. As the foundation of the functioning of the state, it determines the ability of government to provide public services and foster countries' competitiveness and growth. Given the resources are limited, there's an increasing attention among national and international discussions on government performance, highlighting that good governance has a significant impact on how well the public finances are turned into seismic results and outcomes for the benefits of the citizens. It also plays a fundamental role in European integration process, as it's a fundamental pillar of the enlargement process along with the rule of law and economic governance. The EU enlargement criteria recognise and emphasise the need for a country to build a national public administration with the capacity to pursue principles of good administration and effectively transpose and implement EU rules and standards. Moreover, the three pillars are closely linked, cross-cutting issues of fundamental importance for success in political and economic reforms. What is public administration reform? The European Commission has strengthened its focus on public administration reform by outlining its six key issues. The principles of PAR define what good governance entails in practice and outline the main requirements to be followed by countries during the EU integration process. The principles are complemented by a monitoring framework which makes it possible to follow the progress achieved over time in developing public administration. The monitoring framework features both quantitative and qualitative indicators. It focuses on the implementation of reforms and its outcomes, that is, how the administration performs in practice. Through their strong focus on the implementation of reforms and collection of evidence on government performance, the principles are not only a set of requirements, but also assist in setting a public administration reform vision and serve as a reform helpmate for key decision makers. As a minimum benchmark of good administration, countries should ensure compliance with these fundamental principles. There are six key reform areas, which form the basis of the principles of public administration. 1. Strategic framework of public administration reform. 2. Policy development and coordination. 3. Public service and human resource management. 4. Accountability. 5. Service delivery. and 6. Public financial management. Strategic framework of public administration reform is the first chapter, which includes five core principles. Initially, the government should develop and enact an effective public administration reform plan or strategy that addresses key challenges of public administration in the country. The targets of the reform need to be clear, measurable and regularly monitored. The reform is a costly process, therefore its financial sustainability also has to be ensured. It's necessary to establish robust and functioning coordination structures at both the political and administrative level in order to steer and manage the reform. There has to be a leading institution with the responsibility and capacity to manage the reform process, whereas other involved institutions should have clear roles and reform implementation capacity. What is the role of CSOs in this process? To date, there seems to be insufficient civil society organisations and media activity, and competence for most PAR areas covered by the principles in most Western Balkan countries. Hence, it's important to increase the relevance, participation and capacity of CSOs and media in the Western Balkans in the PAR process. CSOs can advocate for and influence the design and implementation of public administration reform through facilitation of sustainable regional and national level government CSO consultation platforms, policy dialogue and qualitative media reporting on PAR. Moreover, civil society needs to become the local owner of the principles in order to maintain the necessary impetus for PAR to continue in the direction of good administration, even after our country's EU accession, once EU conditionality is no longer present, as such as strong driver reforms.